Hey guys, this is Sarang from Skilllink. While designing a hybrid electric vehicle, it is important that we plan ahead on how to control the working and output of the system. And a hybrid electric vehicle is powered by an engine and a battery working together. It basically contains two energy sources. Assume you are waking up on a cold morning and you try to start your car. You will find that the engine will be too cold to start by itself, hence we might have to use the choke button. This button opens up the choke valve in the carburetor that allows extra fuel into the engine that will be burnt so that the engine will warm up and start running. This is what we normally do in conventional cars. Whereas in a hybrid electric vehicle, you can program your car to derive energy from the battery and motor. So it seems logical that we design the car to derive power from the battery when we first start it especially when the outside temperatures are really low. But a machine does not understand logic unless we feed to it, right? Control engineers write code that instructs the computer, that instructs the engine, that instructs the system to draw power from the battery when it starts. How do we decide which source powers the system and when? Again, the control engineer has already specified a set of instructions in the control system. Basically, the speed sensors monitor the speed at which the car is traveling and depending on the speed of the car, power is derived from the IC engine or the battery. This is based on which power system is efficient at different speeds. When a hybrid electric vehicle car is traveling at low speeds, like pulling away or reaching a stop, the battery powers the system because it's more efficient. At normal cruising speeds, the IC engine powers the system because of its better efficiency. While accelerating, both the engine and battery work together because the electric motor powered by the battery can provide extra torque and is more efficient than the engine. All this information is already coded into the circuits which are present in the control units. Apart from this, control systems are also used to vary the airflow rate to the engine. How does that happen? Let me explain to you. When you accelerate your car, you open the throttle valve in the carburetor which lets in more air to your engine. When the throttle is opened, air is entrained into the venturi due to the low pressure inside the carburetor. As the air enters the engine, it will also entrain the fuel with it. How? When you push the accelerator, the manifold pressure sensor in the electronic control unit senses the extra air entering the system and urges the fuel injector to inject more fuels. In a carburetor based engine, this happens naturally. This extra mixture of air and fuel will be burnt to produce excess power for acceleration. However, sometimes the fuel will not get burnt properly and the unburnt particles will be exhausted from the engine in the form of smoke. When the sensors in the exhaust sense that too much pollutants are being produced, they will inform the ECM to inject less fuel. This is why sometimes when you accelerate your car, it doesn't gain any more speed because the fuel supply is cut off to lessen pollution. The control systems in a hybrid electric vehicle are designed to detect all such minor parameters to ensure that the vehicle runs smoothly and effectively. In modern cars, the control system is capable of calculating how much you are pushing down your accelerator and releases the fuel accordingly. To design and build logic that goes into the control systems, control engineers use software tools like MATLAB and Simulink. By building the control units computationally, analyzing them first, they can fix the errors and proceed to deploy them more confidently. Alright guys, I hope you found this video informative. If you are interested in enrolling into the Masters in Hybrid Electric Vehicle program, the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much. Bye.